Currently, 66% of United States residents who rely on public water supplies are exposed to the most consumed drug in the nation, fluoride. The belief behind the widespread practice of adding fluoride to water supplies is reduction of tooth decay at low cost. However, some recent studies suggest that overconsumption of fluoride can raise the risk of disorders affecting teeth, bones, the brain, and the thyroid glands, according to Scientific American editors. Fluoride is toxic in large concentrations, and there is no universally accepted optimal level for daily intake of fluoride, leaving some scientists to doubt if the one milligram per liter added to drinking water is safe. After three years of reviewing hundreds of studies, a National Research Council committee concluded that fluoride can subtly alter endocrine function, especially in the thyroid, the gland that produces hormones regulating growth and metabolism. Fluoride found in foods, beverages, medicines, and dental products can result in fluoride overconsumption. This is most visible in young children as dental fluorosis, white-spotted yellow, brown, and or pitted teeth. Author Dan Fagan claims epidemiological studies and tests on lab animals suggest that high fluoride exposure increases the risk of bone fracture, especially in vulnerable populations such as the elderly and diabetics. Currently, over 1,200 professionals are urging Congress to cease water fluoridation and conduct congressional hearings because scientific evidence indicates fluoridation is ineffective and poses serious health risks.